as HANA installation is the mandatory here. So there are a lot of questions will comes using so from a HANA installation topic here. So that's the reason. So once again, let me repeat at the HANA installation, HANA installation here. So HANA installation can be done by using root user. Okay, definitely there is a root user which we have to do use it here. So when you are using the HANA, HANA installation, what are the tools you will use it here? Right, HDB, LCM tools, we have to use it for the HANA installation. For HANA installation, we have to use the HDB, LCM tools here. Okay, HDB, LCM tools, we have to use it here. So either you can do it in the command prompt mode, or GUI mode, or web GUI mode, we can do the HANA installation here, right? So either any mode, we can use it, but command prompt mode is the best option. You don't need to set the any other tools, extra tools, nothing is required to perform the HANA installation here, right? So here, what we have to do via putty, we have to log into the putty. Putty is the tool we have to use to log into the server. Putty is available here. You can see the putty here, right? If you open the putty here, you can specify the host name or if you already saved the session, then it is available here. Just open the any one of the so thing like SAP, so Linux one, right? So it is asking the user ID and password. Just we can enter the user ID and password. As I mentioned, it will not show here, but in the back end, it will be typed here. Just click on the OK button. So then after the type the password, click on the OK, then you will get this prompt screen. You will get the this prompt screen here. Here, just if you type host name, host name means in the Linux level computer name. Normally, Windows, what is your computer name means you will go to the disk PC and the properties. You will see the computer name is SAP Windows 2, right? SAP Windows 2 you will get out here. You will get it out from here, right? So here, same as like in the Linux also, Linux level, just to we will change the word like host name. Yeah. We will change the host like name, host name here, right? Host name here. So just type host name, then you will get the, what is your operating system name here, SAP Linux one. This is the subdomain. This is the subdomain, means DNS name. You don't need to worry about this DNS name. So this is the host name here, right? So here, if you use the, we have discussed about the, some of the Linux commands, df-h, right? You see df-h display file systems. It will show the, the usage of the file systems and everything here. So here you can see 100% full here, which means it's already, so many ANA installations are done. That's why it's showing the, so 100% full here, right? So you can just go to the CD slash media. CD means change directory here, LS and LTR. You can see the, all the files and everything is available here, right? Everything is available here. Just to go to the, just to go to the here. So you can see the, every HANA installation file, when you extract it, you will get the, the binaries files here. HDB, UPD, uninstallation, LCM. So many things are there. So this HDB, LCM, LCM, GUI, LCM, web, these three files, we have to use it for the installation purpose. Uninstallation. So if we want to remove the any unwanted, so unwanted database from the host, we can use the UNINST. If we want to update something, you want to upgrade the 100 database UPD, you have to use it. Suppose I want to uninstall, but because there is a lot of space, so suppose a lot of space is occupied here, so we want to uninstall it here. You will see there is a lot of databases are there here. Here HD1, HD2, HD4, right? HD4. Then you can see a lot of databases are there in the systems here, right? So if you uninstall it, it will clear the some space. It will clear the some space here. Then enter the host name. So 
then it will delete it here right so then passwords are if you want to delete something here so just go to the so this folder slash anna shared right here you can see the lot of folders and files here you can just uh, suppose if you want to delete the folder folder deletion means rm minus rf right if you want to delete the file just rm command will be used if you want to delete the folder iphone rf you need to use it here so let's try to clean up something here so that we will get the we will get the some space here rm minus rf so folders all are the directories why because how i said directories means d is there here in front of the every folder there is a d that's why it's a directories here so it's deleting that's why we, we, we did not get the prompt here prompt so it's doing the option here so if you wait for some time it will delete it you will get the prompt So you have one more SAP HANA. So let's check the status on this SAP HANA as well. Right. So here it is asking the root, then password, type it, just enter it without any spaces or any mistake. Just type and enter it here. Here the DB will be installed here. You can see here, here it's okay we have the some space left that's why right so we have the some space left we can do that one here so df hyphen h display file systems here right so df hyphen h display file systems here so now we know commands i think you guys are practicing the commands right so same way you can practice it here go to the slash media so here i think we don't have any software setting here so let me check where are the softwares are available here. So we have here uh, media, media is nothing. We have the HANA revision 75 is there, SWPM folder is there here. S4 HANA 2021. Okay, 65. Okay. So see here, still it is deleting, which means there is a lot of data is there so that's why it's taking time to delete the so data from the systems here so using the hdb uh, inst l sorry hdb unst we can do the deletion we can do the deletion here so let's go to in this folder what's there here so here we have the server is there so imdb server 075 patch level so sps 07 is there here so okay here it is still doing we can open the while it is doing we can open the one more duplicate session here so duplicate session means multiple session we can open it multiple session we can open it here while that is deleting we can open the one more duplicate session so it's like uh, 92 gb free right 92 gb it got free here so go to slash media here right slash media go to the so where we have the software so, so these are the softwares here right just to go to the either sps 06 or 07 with root user then execute the hdb lcm hdb lcm here just enter it here so but the thing is here we should be required the signature file so we don't have any signature file this is a different signature file that's why it will ask us so please skip the signature file option like that it will ask us to skip it here right so we will we have to skip it out that signature file here just click on the enter button right so what you are going to do here you are going to install it install means there is a number nine nine is the number here installation number here right you can use the nine here but immediately you got the error right you got the error here saying that signature file does not belong to the hana component so but we can ignore this error 
by using the command by typing the ignore command we can type it here so all the log files are written into the slash var temp slash var temp all the log files are written into the slash var temp so here we can see the so what's happening with the system and so log files any errors all the information we can see it here we can see it here Sometimes what happens here, I am doing the installation parallelly. Some other person also doing the installation. Some other person also doing the installation. So parallelly, multiple people, multiple installation is doing. But we are all are already using the all are using the common softwares. Then common things we are using here. So sometimes, so here what will happen here? SAP host agent. SAP host agent is the small host level service. Small host level service which uh, which will uh, help to perform the installation and everything here back end it will it will be installed actually back end it will be installed so the host agent is already installed then it will skip the installation it will skip the installation but we can in the in the log files we can see the the, the uh, hana installation was successfully completed like this we will get the messages here right so now we got the error now so yeah, that's why SAP is saying that iPhone, iPhone, ignore, then space, check underscore signature underscore file, right? So now it will ask the, what is your SID, right? So then enter. So what do you want to do? You want to install, right? Nine, you can enter the nine for the installation. So we are not going to upgrade. We are just doing the installation. So that's why I entered the nine, nine for installation here. Then enter the installation path. The answer also it's taken. Answer also it's taken. Just click on the enter button. You don't need to enter. Right? Enter the local host name here. Then you can define. Do you want to add the systems to the host? No. Right? enter the system id so we should not use empty value here so here we have to define the our sid what is the sid you want to create here hdb something like that right so what is the instance number what is the passwords all the information we have to feed it all the information we have to feed it here right instance number 04 taken next series i don't want to 04 i want to give the 10 so then we can type the 10 here so this is the default then this is the okay this is okay this is okay but because enter the data volume location slash and a data slash and a log then slash and a shared usr sap right root all the file systems it will ask now so we are common so right there enter so here you have to enter the passwords here in the SID field and SID field as well as in the uh, system SID ADM field passwords. We have to we have to enter the passwords here. We have to enter the passwords here. So do you want to reboot the system? No. Okay. Then do you want to continue? Yes. Enter. Then. So here, Anna DB will be installed here. See here, the log location, the log location, everything here it is available. So in this location, we have the logs are available here in this location, slash where tab. Suppose installation is failed. So all the logs are written into the slash where temp folder here. So just you can open this slash where here. So you can see the, what is the, log it is writing here hdb lcm log file so just to open tail using the more more to open the file or tail command or cat command any command so you can use it here anything you can use it to view the file so if you want to view the file you need to use the cat or more so now you can see so what's happening and everything here here lastly user canceled the user executed the control c which means cancel control c means cancel in the linux level linux level that's why we have the so this error this this is shown here user canceled the hdb lcm control c here okay so this is the way we need to check sometimes what happens 
so due to host agent issues or host agent restart us so sometimes we may face the errors sap host is finished with the error something like that so maybe because host agent already installed multiple people are doing multiple things and everything so maybe some space issues or something sometimes we may face the issues so we can ignore that those things here we can ignore all those things and everything here okay so here are the space here 68 gb we have the space limit now we can resume the installation then immediately we can so you can uh, maybe if you want uninstall you can uninstall it here right so like that we can check it out here here nothing is running in the linux machine here so after the installation what we have to do after the installation what we have to do in the systems here so after the installation is completed then we have to add the systems into sap hana studio we have to add the systems into sap hana studio so in this case we need to install the hana studio software hana studio software we have to install it here hana studio software here so let's see sap windows And our studio also small software we can purchase from so we can download it from the service marketplace so then we can keep it here we can install it in the systems here hana studio installation it's a very simple hana studio installation here so that store uh, hana studio software which we have to download the sar file so where we have downloaded the database client all those things same way studio also we have to download and we have to install our desktops not the server level but because server level db installed so studio we have to use it to connect to the hana databases so here so we have to so once it is download is completed we have to install it here so meanwhile so anyone any questions on the sap hana installation part hello yeah hello yes sir you said me that uh, main user is root user right sir right uh, sir, actually by default root user is uh, enable here and we will download it sir no no root user is the super user so while doing the installation when the yes, means uh, that a linux installation root will be created root will be created automatically so same in the windows level windows when you are doing the windows system installation windows voice installation now the administrator will be created same way when you are doing the linux installation root will be created root is the super user in the linux level hello so we have separately installed linux system here separately we have installed linux system here we have installed right linux systems we have two linux okay, systems i have no, not attend the last lecture okay, yeah system. yeah means we have not discussed about the linux installation why because it's not purely our uh, admin related but here we have the systems linux systems already there here so one linux host name is the sap hana one more host name is the sap linux one these are the two host names here where the two linux servers are available to practice it so any one we can use it and we can practice it Suppose SAP Linux one, just you can log in and we can enter the root user and password. We can do the installations. Sir, uh, that uh, this we have to log into Windows Server first, right, sir? Yeah, yeah. First, you have to log into the my jump server. Ah, uh, yes, yes, jump server. Yes. Uh, yeah. Then, oh yes. Yesterday, I thought uh, that was exposed on public IP. I tried to add in uh, my system forty. It is not accessible. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I, I got it, sir. Got it. Yeah, yeah. You need to uh, maybe you can practice it. Uh, so you need to log into the my remote server. So oh, then okay. you can able to access the from my remote server. You can access the just to type that SAP Hana. Then you will able to open the putty. Like, uh, this uh, steps document. Uh, uh, I will share it. Maybe you can practice it today also. So today I will. I'm planning to start, sir. Actually. Okay, I will share the some installation document so that they can do the similar way. Okay, so can can we do uh, multiple uh, uh, installations? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. But uh, if the host got ungulating me, I can restart it here. Oh, because okay. if the hundreds of installation we are doing, definitely the, the operating system will go hung status. 
So oh. it is slow or not responding in that time. So for a test system, what is the minimum RAM, sir? Principal normally. Another DB. 